guys, welcome back to a new episode of Movies with G Rose. I know it's been a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk about a topic that has been on my mind recently the length of content, whether it's movies or TV shows or even video games. The way that we consume content has changed a lot in the last five or so years. And it the way that the content has evolved has been interesting to watch as well. I think we can all agree that content has an effect on the real world, but I think the real world also has an effect on content. And it feels like in the last five years or so, TV shows have blown up, right, with the rise of streaming services. At the time of making this video, uh, there are strikes going on right now because of the abundance of content available. You see all of these companies in order to get um, higher investments, they decided to pump out as much content as they possibly can. But due to this overabundance of content, society has almost become accustomed to the idea of having episodic content. And I don't know. It's an interesting conversation. You know, I have certain friends that are really into uh, long movies, movies that are three hours plus. It, it doesn't even really seem to face them. And they almost scoff at me for my unwillingness to sit through it. it you know, and I am willing. I will. I will do it. But I usually say to these people, it would have worked better as a limited series, you know, eight episodes. And it I don't think that's hypocritical. You know, even though the length of the content would be longer, right? You'd have like eight hours of content opposed to three if it was a TV show. But when you are making something in the structure of a TV show instead of a film, the actual structure of the story has to shift as well. You have to have miniature arcs in every single episode. And... It, doing this somehow makes it easier to binge, right? You know, it's it's almost easier to watch three episodes of a new show that you love and burn three hours that way than it is to sit through a three-hour movie because that arc is dragged out in a three-hour film. And it's it's harder to structure a story with multiple repeating arcs. Now, granted, both of these time frames have their own downfall, right? So, for instance, um, I tried to get into Attack on Titan, very popular anime. But the issue I was having is that it felt like it felt like the story was held back by the length of the episode, right? When I first started watching it, I was like, whoa, these episodes are only 20 something minutes. I can burn through these. These are nothing, right? And then I realized that there's 40, 50 episodes of the show total. And it kind of restructured the way that I thought about the show, right? Because the result of that is you are constantly having these miniature arcs started and resolved over and over and over again, you know? And, and for one TV show, it's tough to sit through 30 of those in a row, even if there is an overarching arc that is progressing over time. The actual structure of the story, the day-to-day, -day, the episode-to-episode, -episode, it's different than a movie. You have to rise and fall and cliffhanger every single time, every 20 to 30 minutes you have to do this. Whereas in a three-hour movie, those rules don't apply. You can take your time willy-nilly through the whole film or you can gradually escalate the whole time or you follow a three-act structure over the course of 120 minutes instead of 20. And I'm not sure which is better. You know, like I said earlier, I think both have their, their advantages, right? And outside of just streaming, we've seen this in social media, right? TikTok, short form content, Instagram reels. It's all, it's all geared towards five minutes, three minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, 15 seconds. How short can your content be? Set up, set up, set up punchline. And because of this overinflation, this overinvestment, we're seeing this model applied to content that 
we haven't seen it applied to before. For instance, I just saw Barbie. Great movie. I liked it a lot. I give it an eight out of 10. However, the downside of Barbie, in my opinion, are the aspects that make it a kid's movie at the same time, right? It, I understand this is a film that's trying to ride that line between kids movie and uh, funny to everyone, and they do it well. But the editing is so fast in that movie. And sometimes this is really nice because you don't get bored as often because they're changing it up so frequently. But it's also fatiguing in the same way that I found Attack on Titan to be fatiguing, where, yes, individually, these sequences all work. And they're all entertaining in their own unique way. And they're very polished. And in that way, they're very entertaining. But it's fatiguing to get it over and over and over again. An hour into Barbie, I was, I thought we were towards the end, simply because I don't think my brain is as accustomed to getting these story reward points so frequently throughout the content. I don't know if that makes sense, but, uh, you know, long story short, kids like short content. They have short attention spans. And it's, I'm seeing it applied to not just kids, to everyone. And I'm not trying to be a doomer. You know, I, I don't think that long form content will ever go away, but it's interesting to see short form explode in the way that it has. And I hope we get more uh, great TV out of it and great uh, long form content split up in that way, uh, as opposed to nowadays, it feels like every movie is a two parter and each part is two and a half hours plus. Mission Impossible, part one and part two. Spider-Verse, part one and part two. Dune, part one and part two. These are stories that are five or six hours worth of content, at least in the director's eyes. And they're great stories. I want to see all of that content. But I almost wonder, would things have been better if HBO funded an eight-episode series for Into the Spider-Verse? And we got to see something with a little more time to breathe, some restructuring. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that short-form content is better? Do you think that long form content will disappear? How do you think AI comes into this? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching Movies with G-Rose. I appreciate it. Leave a like and be sure to subscribe. Peace out, everyone.